I know my background looks a little bit different now because obviously you can see I have a Cintiq now and I'm so happy that I have one. A friend of mine wanted to get rid of hers and she sold it to me for a very cheap price. So obviously I had to say yes. Why is my chair so loud? I don't know. But I also got a microphone now. Today's video is about my warm-up routine because a couple of years ago I didn't even know myself that there is something like warming up when it comes to drawing and producing art. And once I found that out, I tried many different techniques or ways of warming up. And I think I found my personal way that works for me. So I wanted to share that with you. Yeah, but without further ado, I will take you with me now. I will first start warming up with figure drawing. And I think I will use line of action today for that. And what I like to do afterwards is I like to add... 30 minutes of me drawing a random character and that is because I want to get faster and I want to explore different characters that don't matter. Like I don't care if they turn out good or bad because that's just a warm-up for me and just a way to experiment with different things and elements. So no pressure, that's just something that I like to do. Yeah, so I will take you with me doing both of these and I will talk to you in a voiceover very quickly. Oh boy, recording this video was a journey. I actually planned on recording two figure drawing warm-up sessions, one on Wednesday and the other one on Thursday. But I ended up hating the one that I recorded on Wednesday because I've been pretty rusty. And those of you who follow me on Instagram may have noticed that I uploaded my video a day later because I told you that I was busy with an emergency that came up. Then I also recorded the session from Thursday at least I thought so. While I thought I was recording, I had so many technical issues that I very calmly fixed and I was very proud of myself. And then finally, once I fixed everything and I was done with my warm up, I wanted to check the recording and that was when I realized that I didn't record anything. Well, I got some footage. Nevertheless, I like to start my drawing part of the day with a 30 minute warm up that is quite flexible. And then I like to add a 30 minute character drawing session and the last part with the character design is fixed. I will do that almost every single day, but of course I can't do it every day because sometimes I'm just very busy and very I do have a very tight schedule and that is when I skip that. So for the first 30 minutes, I either start with figure drawings or with something that I want to practice. In this part of the video, you can see me doing a live drawing class session on Line of Action. And I would really recommend that website. There are many similar websites on the internet. I will also link you some of them down below in the description. And the first couple of drawings are all 30 second poses. And usually I try to get the gesture down with these. Sometimes when I feel too stiff, I like to imagine the arms and legs as spaghetti that are attached to the body. and. For me personally, that really works. But please don't try to use this as a tutorial for flowier poses because I am still struggling with that aspect of art, but I am getting better and I am letting loose a little bit more. And once I'm done with the 30 second poses, it is time for a couple of one minute and then five minute poses. And usually the last pose will be 10 minutes, but I don't like those. So I will usually do either a couple of two to three minute poses because those are my favorite or two more five minute poses. It depends on what my mood is like. As I mentioned, I will use my warm up time to practice something very specific. Let's say I feel rusty with my hands, then I can just warm up with drawing hands. Sometimes I also like to use that time to study an artist that I love. For example, very recently I studied a lot of Evan Mehl Amundsen because I just admire their work. I also met Evan, so that is also something very nice. And I have a book and I really like to practice their art because the line quality and the poses, I really like the way he tells stories and also the way the lines fit those stories. So I like to study that every now and then. I also like to do that warm up either digitally or traditionally. 
depending on what I feel like or what I work with the most during that time. For example, lately I spend a lot of time drawing digitally, so I try to warm up traditionally and vice versa. For that I also bought a relatively cheap sketchbook that I don't really care about and that you saw me holding in the camera after my intro. I would also recommend you to get one yourself if you want to warm up traditionally. I will show you a flip through of that once I'm done with the figure drawings. In last week's sketchbook tour I mentioned that I like to put a sheet of paper in between the pages of my sketchbook to keep the pages from smudging onto each other while working in the sketchbook. And those sheets are also from a sketchbook like this because that way I don't feel wasteful because I am reusing those sheets and I am repurposing them. And before that, I always used to put in very private letters from the university or stuff. And that is not something that people should see when flipping through my sketchbook. <laughs> so I slowly replaced them with pages that were filled with warm ups. When warming up, I am mostly focusing on two things. One, I am trying to actively slow down a little bit. I am a very hectic person. You may hear that every now and then in my videos because I tend to speak quite fast and I'm trying my best to slow down even now for these videos. But damn, that is so difficult for me because I am used to speak so quickly and fast. I used to draw so fast and rush everything so that nothing looked as good as it could have looked. I filled one sketchbook with 200 pages in less than two months because I used to rush drawing so much and that is insane. I realized that trying to slow down in my warming up phase of the day sets the mood for the rest of the day. If you're a person struggling with this kind of issue, I would recommend you to try this out because for me it was very helpful. If you're someone that is on the opposite side of the spectrum and you can find yourself to be working too slow, then maybe go on a website like Line of Action and set your poses on 30 second, 1 minute or 2 minute and then try to draw those for 30 minutes as a warm up and trust me, you will get faster and you will improve on your poses. Also, I can really recommend the 30 minute character thing that I will explain you in a couple of seconds. Two, I'm also focusing on the way that I move my hand or in this case, my arm. If you want to have movement in your drawings and good lines, you need to work more with your whole arm. Draw with the help of your shoulder. That will change everything. I am not very good at this because I am lazy and I like to put my arm on the desk while sketching but I am somewhat trying in this warm up. I still need to practice that a lot more, but I realized that when I'm working on a character, in general, when I'm drawing, I really like to do the first sketch, the initial sketch with my whole arm using my shoulder more. And that changes the whole outcome of this first initial sketch. For materials, I like to use everything that I want to. Some days I feel like warming up with ballpoint pens, on other days I really crave color pencils or just highlighters or something like that. It really depends on my mood and allowing myself to just have fun with something that simple is very nice. One rule I have for my warm ups though is don't care about the end result. These warm ups are just for my wrist, my hand eye coordination and my perspective thinking to be warmed up. You could sit there and draw circles for 10 minutes straight. As long as you get warmed up, that's fine. So please don't worry about the outcome. I can assure you that the warm up sketches will turn out bad most of the times, but that is totally fine. Use that to improve or work on something or just let loose and have fun. And now I will talk a little bit about the 30 minute character design drawing, because another thing that I added to my warm up session are these 30 minute character design drawings on most of my days. I don't do that every day, but I try to do this very often. And I will show you some of the examples on the screen right here. And thank you Procreate for recording everything so nicely. I am very sorry if you can hear the car in front of my window, but I need to record this now because I'm a little bit busy and for whatever reason there is a car in front of my window that is very loud and just doing nothing. So I'm sorry. Why am I doing this though? Actually, there are many reasons for this. I mentioned that I used to rush everything and that I never or rarely really tried to draw good things. And when I changed this, I kind of slipped into the other extreme in my opinion. I want to learn how to draw good things without rushing it and without falling asleep while drawing. And let me tell you, I improved a lot with this timing thing. Since I added this to my warm up, it really changed everything. Another reason is that I also overthink everything that I'm doing. Every character, 
every small little sketch i overthink everything and with this i want to try to push myself to a stop overthinking everything and b try different things i can very slowly feel the progress with this and i can see how i am pushing myself to do things that i would usually be way too afraid to do but that i would normally want to do that is very weird because there are things that i want to draw but i'm a little bit too afraid to draw so i stick to things that i know will look pretty the last reason is that I wanted to practice my digital sketching. As you may have noticed by now based on my content, I am a huge fan of traditional media and sketchbooks. By doing this, I slowly found a way to make digital sketching a little bit more appealing to me and more fun to me. I am mostly working with Procreate here, but since I got a graphic tablet now, I will also try this at some point on Photoshop. I don't know yet, or I'm not sure, because I don't want to stop working with my iPad, so maybe I will keep these on there and keep them separated from my graphic tablet. Sometimes if I don't have the time to draw a lot of my sketchbook, I will also do these in there, but that is very rarely because I love working in my sketchbook. If you have something you want to improve on, maybe you can find a similar thing like this. Sketching characters that I don't really care about helped me so much with just letting loose. And once I'm done with warm-ups, I will start drawing. My warm-up sessions are a very important part in my day. I just love how my mind is slowing down when I'm warming up. I can feel me being more and more in the zone. And once I am done with a warm-up, I feel calm and way more focused than without a warm-up. Of course, there are also days where I don't feel like drawing at all. And on those days, warming up can be a huge struggle, but I'm just trying to tell myself to not be too hard on myself because at the end of the day, it's just a warm up. And now that I'm done with my warm up or showing you a couple of my older character drawings, I want to leave you with a thrip through through my very ugly warm up sketchbook. But please keep in mind that a couple of these drawings are studies that I made based on other people's art but I always wrote down the names of those artists. So most of the drawings are still from photo or from imagination. So yeah, have fun and I hope you took something out of this video and I will see you next week.